that I, I'm from the future and I came back in time for you. So there's another example in a less popular film. It's Somewhere in Time. One of the first movies made by uh, Christopher Reeve after Superman. He is the love interest of a woman mm -hmm. who's like 90 years old. He's a college professor. An old woman comes up to him and says to him, come back to me. And she hands him a locket or some bit of jewelry. She's alive now, but she's 90 something. Then he figures out maybe if he goes back in time, he can meet her. So he goes, he's on a college campus, so he visits some physicists. It's always good to have friends who are physicists mm -hmm. to help yeah, you out. exactly, especially when you want to go back in time. Especially, it's because yeah. otherwise, yeah. what are you doing? Right, so he goes to his physicist friend, and they say, we've been working on this method and the tool you have to, in your mind, and you have to get ready, you have to get dressed for it, whatever. So he manages to go back in time mm. to this resort on the beach where he knows she was checking into the hotel. It's a resort, checks mm -hmm. into the hotel. So he sees her come up. She doesn't know who he is. Of course, he's back in time. She's back in time. They meet each other and they fall in love. And she says, Wait, how did you find me? I, I'm from the future and I came back in time for you. What? And as a token of his love, he gifts her the jewelry. Ah. Uh, oh, another gin. That's a gin particle. Uh, object. It's because a gin object. she gave it to him. Yes. So how does she give it to him? But unless, she got it. Unless he came back to her. To give it to, to her. To give it to her. Yes. Oh, snap. Yes. So this this locket, it was never created nor, nor destroyed. destroyed. Lives in that, in that time. In that time loop. That's pretty wild, man. It's wild. It's wild. That's wild.